Hello, uh, my name is Juan Johnson. I'm going to try and demonstrate some of the features of this experiment. Please pay attention. This equipment is very delicate. Uh, chances are the percent error for this experiment will be very high. However, I still think the experience will be very valuable to you in learning how to use some different kinds of new equipment, being able to take different kinds of measurements, and being able to work as a group to collect data to solve a problem, or in this case, to verify a theory. I will start off by introducing you to some of the equipment that you'll be using for this experiment. Over here is a voltage supply. The purpose of this voltage supply is to supply charge to this conducting ball. We can control the amount of charge by changing the values of the kilovolts. Do not be afraid of this machine because the amperage output of this machine has a maximum of 0.5 amps. So it's perfectly safe and it's well insulated. However, sometimes you may just get a little shock if you touch the ball directly. But that should not be any danger to most people. Over here, we will be using a combination of an amplifier and a voltmeter, which will give us a measurement of the charge. We will set the range on the voltmeter so that we can actually calculate how much charge by reading the number directly on the voltmeter. Before you use this, however, you must press this button to discharge or remove any charge on the ball before actually taking a reading. Let me give you an example of how this works. First, I must be sure that the voltmeter is set to zero. This knob allows me to calibrate it to zero. Again, I press the button here to make sure it is fully discharged. As you can see on the meter, I am reading zero votes. I will transfer the charge from this device, the conducting sphere, to this ball attached to this apparatus here. Just a gentle touch will do. Right now, this ball has been charged, and you can see that the movement of the arm has brought it a little closer to the plate. Now, to read the charge on the ball, I simply take this conducting sphere and give the ball a gentle touch. The charge from this ball will then be transferred to my measurement conducting sphere. And as you can see, I'm reading a value on the voltmeter. In this example, I'm reading 1.92. Using a formula that I will give you from the experiment, you will be able to calculate the amount of charge based on this voltage number that you're reading from the meter. In the next video, I will try to demonstrate the actual procedure for collecting the data for your experiment.